Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habit tifillah is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam about the fadl min mat ala sunnah or the benefit of those who die upon the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from them ameen ya rabbil alameen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless us with ikhlas, with the bat. In a narration from our salaf, Qala, uh, Qala, Qala Ma'tamir ibn Suleiman, Dakhaltu ala abi wa ana munkasir. Fakala malaka, kultu mat sadiq li. Qala mat ala sunnah, kultu naam. Qala falat khaf alayh. Mu'tamir ibn Suleiman rahimahullah ta'ala said, I entered upon my father and I was, uh, my heart was broken, my, you know, I was saddened or I was just broke down. And he said, what's wrong with you? I said, my friend died. He said, did he die upon the sunnah? He said, yes. He said, then don't be fearful for him. And in a narration in Shar al Atiqal Lil al Qa'i, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Qal, Waqal Fudayl ibn Iyad, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Tuba liman mata ala Islam wa Sunnah. Fudayl ibn Iyad, Rahimullah Ta'ala, said, Give glad tidings to those who die upon Islam and the Sunnah. Also in Shar al-I'tiqad lil al rahimahullah ta'ala wa qala ibn Aun, man mata al-Islam wa Sunnah falahu bashir bi kulli khair. Ibn Aun said rahimahullah ta'ala, whoever dies upon Islam and the Sunnah, then for him is the glad tidings of all goodness. Qala Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala also in Shara al-I'tiqad lil al-Laqai Man maat ala sunnah fil yubashir Man maat ala sunnah fil yubashir Man maat ala sunnah fil yubashir Imam Malik said Whoever dies upon the sunnah they give him glad tidings Whoever dies upon the sunnah they give him glad tidings Whoever dies upon the sunnah, then give him glad tidings. Waqal, and this is also a statement attributed to Imam Malik, لو أن رجل أرتكب جميع الكبائر ثم لم يكون فيه شيء من هذه الأهواء Imam Malik ta'ala said that if a man does all the major sins, then and he has nothing with him from desires, meaning desires of bid'ah, then it is hoped for him or the good chances that he died upon the sunnah, so give him glad tidings. Qali Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal rahimahullah ta'ala min maat ala islam wa sunnah maat ala al-khair kulluhu. Imam Ahmed said rahimahullah ta'ala whoever dies upon islam in the sunnah, then he has died upon all goodness. Wa qala Abu Bakr Al-Marudi, rahimahullah ta'ala, kultu li Abi Abdillah Ahmed ibn Hanbal, rahimahullah ta'ala, man maat ala islam wa sunnah, maat ala al-khair. Faqala li askut, man maat ala islam wa sunnah, maat ala al-khair kulluhu. High-powered narration. Abu Bakr, 
Al-Murudi al 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 said, I said to Abu Abdullah Ahmed ibn Hanbal, rahimullah ta'ala, that whoever dies upon Islam and the Sunnah has died upon goodness. He said, be silent. Whoever dies upon Islam and the Sunnah has died upon all goodness. And in Al Wara Lil Murudi, this is also a narration, or this is the narration of Qala Talha ibn Ubaidillah al Baghdadi, Wafak Rukubi Rukub Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Fi Safina, Fakana Yutila Sukut. فإذا تكلم قال اللهم أماتنا على إسلام السنة طلحة ابن عبيد الله البدادي رحمه الله تعالى he said that I was I traveled on a ship at the same time as Ahmed ibn Hanbal and he said there was silence between us for a long period of time and if he spoke, meaning Imam Ahmed. He would say this dua, O oh Allah, take us, take our lives upon Islam and the Sunnah. Wakala Hassan ibn Ayyub al Baghdadi in Tariq al Damashk, Libin Asakir. قيل لي أبي عبد الله أحمد بن لي أبي عبد الله أحمد بن هنبل أهياك الله يا أبا عبد الله قال على إسلام والسنة. so حسن الحسن ابن أيوب البدادي رحمه الله تعالى said that it was said to أبي عبد الله أحمد بن هنبل رحمه الله تعالى May Allah bless your life. Or something to this effect and meaning. He said, O oh, Ab uh, oh, uh, oh, Abba Abdullah, O oh, father of Abdullah. And he said, Ala Islam wa Sunnah, upon Islam and the Sunnah, meaning, uh, May Allah grant you this long life. And he said, May that be upon Islam and the Sunnah. Those are just some of the many narrations of how the Salaf al-Salih how seriously they took Islam and the importance of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whereas we often take our lives so seriously and we belittle the Sunnah or we ignore the Sunnah or we display actions which depart and disagree with the Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Bless us with ikhlas with abad. Bless us to be the inhabitants of Jannah to Fardos. And bless us to die upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alaihi wa Sahbihi Wasallam.